Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is for the United States Heavyweight Championship. It is set for one fall. Introducing first, the challenger from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 237 pounds, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Well, on a night when I guess the entire world celebrates pro wrestling, the two greatest champions of all time will collide. It's fitting that Ricky Steamboat, without a doubt, a great champion, former world heavyweight champion, would get his shot at a title one more time. Well, it doesn't get any better than this, JR. Yeah, the Dragon could walk out of here a champion very easily. He's done it before. And his opponent, from Hollywood, California, weighing 253 pounds, the United States Heavyweight Champion, Stunning Steve Austin. Stunning Steve Austin, United States Heavyweight Champion. He knows Ricky Steamboat quite well. He was the world television champion, was Austin, for 18 months. And that title reign was ended by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So Steamboat and Austin, no strangers at all. Oh, you're right about that, JR. That means you're going to see a classic match right here. You're going to see wrestling, you're going to see aerial moves, and you're going to see a good old-fashioned fight. Because Austin can do it all. Stunning Steve, not only the former television champion and world tag team champion. What about Steamboat? His first title was the television title, and he beat Ric Flair to become the television champion years ago. He's been the world heavyweight champion, eight times the world tag team champion, and U.S. champion on many occasions. Obvious, these men are two of the most decorated men in our sport today. Should be a great one. Watch it. Good night. Ouch. Steve Austin going for it. Ooh, that looked devastating. Austin's trying to get disqualified. If he does, he retains the title. Oh, come on, Austin. Have a little self-respect. Win it outright or just go home. That's no way for a champion to act. And it's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat with the reversal. Steamboat with the reversal. Feeling it out, perhaps, here. Oh, the carnage. The impact. Just debilitating. Now, stunning Steve Austin had himself a manager, Colonel Rob Parker, who you saw orchestrate that double cross with Art Anderson on Dustin Rhodes. But Colonel Parker thought that he was best suited to be on his own, that he would devote his time to Terry Funk and Bunkhouse Buck. So, as you can see, Austin has Dragon Slayer written on the back of his trunks. Yeah, well, we'll see if those trunks can withstand the fire that the Dragon's going to be spewing. I doubt it. If you can't stand the heat, don't tickle the dragon. Well, King, you underestimate stunning Steve Austin at your own peril. Oh, I don't underestimate him, JR. I just don't like good sleeper hold. Tough 
move to get out of. Oh, I've seen this before, fans. Prepare to witness the Dragon take his opponent to school. This could be huge. Steve Austin with the offense. You know, JR, I went back to the dressing area to see what's going on back there, and the place is jammed with security. I mean, there's got to be 500 people back there. What do you expect? A spectacular counter by Steve Austin. Backs of that for a while. The shot. Team Austin frustrated. Ricky Steamboat continues to kick out and show resilience. And Austin out trying a, another approach. King, we all know about Steamboat. He's got a great heart. These two superstars know each other extremely well. Look at this guy. Austin's got to go to Plan B. As Steamboat bridges up, both men in that good condition. Uh oh. And uh, not a good landing for Austin as oh. the veteran Steamboat out of Charlotte, North Carolina, creating a little distance. Oh, oh boy. Steve Austin should take advantage now. That kick slowed the momentum down that uh, Steamboat was about to build. Oh, what's going to go here, JR? Steamboat in a hung up on the ropes, and Austin again dropping that 250 pounds right over Steamboat's body. And now he's mocking Steamboat. Austin taunting the veteran. I don't think Austin's going to get in Steamboat's head. Steamboat is too much of a veteran. He's been there before. And look at this, Jay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look how counter! The stun gun! Steamboat used the stun gun. Austin's move on Austin. Knock you silly. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat smells blood. Oh, look at this. Austin's throwing Steamboat in the ropes. What's he going for here, JR? Austin, the United States champion, looking for two so power drivers. Hey, reversal. That's reversed by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And now reversed again. Another reversal. Taking a lot out of both oh. hands. Trying to reverse these tombstones. And it's Steamboat oh. locking his hands and dropping Austin on the United States champion's head. Steamboat should go for the cover. He's, he's a little addled. Steamboat looking for something else, another piece of offense. Yeah, you're right. I think Steamboat wants to hit something big and put Austin away for good. Oh, oh boy. Austin shoving the referee out of the way. I didn't know better. I think Austin's trying to get himself disqualified. I think he's done it. The referee is saying this is over. Now, wait a minute. Steamboat's, Steamboat's having a conversation with the referee. Steamboat cannot win the United States title a disqualification. Whoa. The match continues. And Steamboat now with piston-like right hands on the face of the United States champion. Well, look at this reversal here. Austin off the ropes, duck. Whoa, nice, crossbody. Nice crossbody roll through by Austin. Austin with a roll through, and Austin's feet. Get on the ropes. And ref, and ref, Austin's feet on the ropes. Steve Austin wins it.